So, uh, thank you again. Uh, this event is presented by Multiple Member and the Peer Group, um, along with 100 uh, Black Men of Louisville and Distinctive Women. Please give them a hand. And today, we have our highlighted chef here, Chef T, also known, well, Miss Latanya Fusion, also known as Chef T, and our wonderful, always wonderful host, Miss Don G of Wave 3. Everybody, please give them a hand. And I want to let Don G, our host, go ahead and get started. All right. It's a pleasure uh, to be here with everybody. You see all of the vendors that are around. Um, while the chefs are cooking and doing everything, while our teams are cooking, will you please just stop by and say hello to them uh, and see what they have to offer because uh, it's good to see business growing in, in our community. And they, they took off on their Sunday to be here with you. So that's important. If you have questions on anything uh, that's about to happen, then make sure you raise your hand. I have to say that I absolutely love Chef T. She's told me some things that literally almost made me faint once about what I was putting in my body. I was um, reluctant is really not the word I want to use. What's the word? Skeptical, Skeptical reluctant, reluctant ain't doing it. I don't know what else to say to you. And then lo and behold, uh, a year or more afterward, uh, I have ended up fighting cancer for the last two years and Chef kept telling me, you know, you gotta watch what you put on your body. And then I started thinking about it. I have a car that I love, it's a little Lexus. And I do not put cheap bad gas in that Lexus. Right. But why on God's earth would I put all that crap in my body and not respect it more than I respect some trivial thing like a car? And that's something that we all need to think about. Chef T, I am glad to have you here. Where are my guys? Do I need to use this for that? Well, Can you all hear me? Okay. Can you all hear me very well? I have a very big mouth and 14 grandchildren. Well, thank you, Don, and thank you, Peer Group. And um, I'm just delighted to be invited to share about diabetes education because that is my passion. I was a nurse for 15 years. This is my 31st year being a nurse. And I was a nurse for 15 years not really understanding why my patients were not getting healthy. And we call it behavior, right? And so on about year 16, I went to JCTC and uh, took up some culinary classes. And I realized this can be intimidating, OK? When you go to see the doctor or the nurse and the white coat, we call it the white coat syndrome. And I took this off. And I put this on. Because what I, yeah, what I discovered was, is food is our love language. Thank you very much. Food is our love language. And so I can tell people all day long how to lower their blood sugar. I can tell them about how to take insulin. I can tell them about exercise. When I show people how to prepare food so that it tastes good and it's not offensive to their body and it doesn't cause their blood sugar to raise or their blood pressure or their blood cholesterol, light bulb goes off, we develop a really good relationship, and we just keep on moving. So Don and I are going to demonstrate what I call my everything salad. Well, what did you say? Food is our what? Love language? Food is our love I language. I love that. Food is our love language. I love that because when initially I had part of my kidney removed because of slow-growing renal cell carcinoma and then had uh, half my stomach removed just a few months after that from gastrointestinal stromal tumor, and they told me to you got to change what you are not doing, what you need to do. And it was funny because when my nutritionist, my cancer nutritionist at uh, North Cancer Center told me that, I literally, like, I, I broke down and I started crying. And you all know this, especially in African American families. In my family, first off, we eat dinner together every Sunday. When we are happy, we eat. When we are sad, Lord, do we eat. And if we are sitting with nothing else to do, we eat. Yes. And so I just started sobbing and saying, how am I going to miss these wonderful dinners at my mother's house? It's, I mean, I was just literally sobbing because I felt like I was losing my family. But it's the fellowship. It's the fellowship, it's the fellowship that I had to get in my mind. And although they still fry ribs, <laughs> right, right, fry ribs. Uh, I go and I sit with them, but this is what we should be eating. This is what we should be eating. And 
as many colors as you can get in. I walk around like this most of the time and all my patients know when they see me there's going to be a lot of colors coming their way because colors ignite a center in your brain that make you feel good and keep you from being depressed. So when you walk into our house, it looks just like this with orange and yellow and green and pink and purple and everybody feels good at the end of the day. So here we go. But, but also the variety in the colors and check out me out to make sure I'm right here. When, um, when you are able to use a variety of colorful food, the colorful food generally has more macronutrients. Thank you, because I can't remember that. It has more vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, all of those vitamins, those nutrients that increase your immune system and help you to fight disease. So that's the reason why we use the darker the colors, the more nutritious the vegetable is. And so instead of white onions, we use red onions. Instead of green peppers, we use dark red peppers because they're full of vitamin C. We use a lot of greens, broccoli, cauliflowers, things like that because they're high in fiber. And one thing I can tell you about fiber is your friend. You have to get it where you like it. The more fiber in your diet, the more it brings down your blood sugar, the more it brings down your blood cholesterol, and the more it brings down your blood pressure. All right, so here we go back with the women again. Where is your food? In the oven? It's in the oven. It's oh, we got it. We got it. Which which oven? Can you see? Oh, it's down there. It's okay. Yeah. Leave it be. Let's let it cook. How did it look when you when you got it in there? It looked pretty good. We layered it pretty well. We have a secret way we layered it, so we're excited. Secret. Yep. I guess we can't say because one of the guys is. Still. Yeah, and they'll steal our secret. He'll pull his out. <laughs> <laughs> How has this been for you? What has I mean, you guys come back, you come back, you come back. What what does it mean to you? Go ahead. Well, it's been a learning experience. I mean, over the, this is the third year that we've done it. So in each year, there's been a different recipe. And I must say, this year right here has been the, the most difficult one, especially, you know, not being a, a vegan or vegetarian. So learning to prepare this type of meal um, was a learning experience. Cooking something that you, that you don't eat is is different. So we're, we're excited, too, to see how it's going to turn out. Will it change what you eat, do you think? I mean, well, I think for, for me, when Donna first asked me to do this, a couple of years ago, my cousin had passed away from complications with diabetes. So for me, my biggest thing is learning how to cook food that's healthy because I wasn't raised like that. I cooked the way my grandmother taught me how to cook. So like some of the ingredients that was in the lasagna, that Evo, I've never heard of that. So if I haven't heard of it, I'm not going to use it. Okay, so for me, this is uh, learning for me to change what I learned early on so that I can change and become a healthier person. Yeah, that, that's, that's my thing. I, I had said on television this morning that I, am, I can throw down in the kitchen. I am an awesome chef until you tell me to cook clean, and then I'm yeah. like, uh, I can clean the kitchen. I don't know if I can cook clean. So this has been hard for everybody, you think? No, not for me. Not for no, I don't eat a lot of meat anyway. And this is the way I normally cook, oh, so. All right, well, there we go. Uh, I've got to find the fellas. Where are they? Anybody, let's. They're cleaning. They're cleaning. Oh, They're cleaning. they are cleaning. Let's go see if we can find the fellas. Find, where? Black West. What do we want to see? We want to see some men at work. They are washing dishes. Let me give you my house address real fast. How has this been for you all? This this new vegan healthy cooking. It's a different experience. I mean, definitely being able to uh, think healthy and eat healthy is uh, important to us all. So it's been so helping is, us a is lot. Is everybody gonna eat what you cook? Because if a chef will not eat what he's cooking, <laughs> I'm not eating it either. We are. We all gonna take part in uh, eating a little bit and make sure everybody else has some out front too. All right. So we just have a few minutes left to go in the oven. All right. We got about uh, five minutes left in the oven, and then we're ready to serve right after that. Yep. We are waiting. This is the third annual diabetes cook-off. Again, new space. Look at all this. We are in chef space, and this is actually where chefs come to try to kick off their business. Today, we're here to kick off healthy eating. All right, so the dishes that they've created for the third annual diabetes cook-off are done. They are getting ready to plate them up. Let me see if I understand what's going to go on here. You all did win last year for 100 black men, but you are going to serve the ladies' dish, and they're going to serve yours. Is that right? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, something like that. What, we, what we're gonna do? We're gonna put. We're gonna number the dishes. One team is gonna be one. And one team is gonna be two. Which one is us? But you know, tell everybody out there. And uh, and then we're just gonna team serve. Team serve. Both. So both nobody's dishes. biased. As nobody's biased. Right. All right. So here it goes. They're going to start. You trust them. They trust you too. I'm gonna have to take a peek and then. Oh, there it is. That is vegan lasagna. There is no meat, no dairy in that lasagna. Now let's see if it tastes good. This is one group. So I'm not even gonna ask whose group it is. I do not wanna know. And then here we go. There we go. Now one of the groups said they had a special way of laying, layering their lasagna. We'll see if that special way will make the difference to a win. Everybody will taste and judge coming up. Give them a record. Give them a record. 